Hi everyone and welcome to my very first tutorial. Um, my name is Shirley and I'd like to show you how to make this gorgeous concertina butterfly. As you can see on my card there are two butterflies and that's because my card is for the fashionable stamping challenges this week and the challenge is butterflies and bugs. The larger butterfly has been triple embossed and then stamped into, but you will find more information about this on my blog. Okay, this is what you'd really like to see is how to make these gorgeous butterflies. This butterfly here is the larger of the three. This one is the middle size. And as I said before, the one on my card is the smaller one. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make them. First of all, here is the template I've made. If you would like a copy of this, please go to my website, which is www.shirlscards.com. If you click on the email button and in the subject box type butterfly, I will send you a copy. The first thing to do when you receive your template is to actually print it onto cardstock then you'll actually have a sturdier template. Then if you cut all three out, you should have something like this. This is the large butterfly, or it will be the butterfly when you've made it. This is the medium sized butterfly, and this is the smaller butterfly. The next thing you'll do is Decide on what paper you want to make your butterfly. I like this one. This one's quite a thick one, but I found that you can even do a, a very flimsy copy paper and they work really well. On the wrong side of the paper, I've drawn round the template. Through trial and error, girls, of making this butterfly, I found out the best way to do it because you have to do the score lines and it will make it very difficult to fold into a concertina if you cut out the middles here and everything's cut out beforehand. So if you just cut this little V here and this is where you're going to start the middle here. So you're going to put the first point there into any score line, doesn't really matter. And another little tip for you is to get your repositionable tape and do a tiny little line there and a tiny little line there. Then line it up to your middle line and that way it won't move. Another little tip is that when you're ready to do your score lines, actually start in the middle and go down. There. On the hoogie board, I'm actually doing the centimetre side and I'm doing every half centimetre. And this is the large butterfly template and you'll just go down every one. And then just when you finish that side, then you'll go this side. When you've finished all the scoring, just peel it off very gently because you've got the repositionable tape on there. And all you have to do is run your finger down either side and then the repositionable will come off. Just test your board to see that you've left nothing on there. As you can see, I've finished all the score lines, but another little tip, girls, please don't cut out these middles yet. Otherwise, if you cut them out, it, as I said before, it's going to be very difficult for you to concertina the butterfly up. So fold all your score lines first. And another little tip is to actually start in the middle. And what you're going to do, you're going to start on the wrong side and the first one is going to be a valley fold and that's so that when you've done the butterfly it will fold like this. 
There you go. There's one butterfly concertina up. And that's what it will look like when you've actually done it. The score lines and all the folding. And now what you'll do, you'll actually open it all back out again, flatten it. And this is where you'll take out the two slots in the middle. As I said before, if you did everything beforehand, uh, took the slots out beforehand and then tried to fold it, it would have been extremely difficult. When I take the middle out, I use a craft knife and I use my quilter's rule, which I find very easy to use rather than scissors or ruler. Right, nearly there now. Can you see what you've got? You've taken out the middle, you've concertinaed it back again into its folds, and then you end up with two holes that you can see there in the middle. Once you scrunch these holes up, this is where you're going to get the start of your butterfly. How I do this is a tiny bit of wire. So I'll just get my wire. I'm not sure what type of wire most people have got. I'm not even sure where I got this some crafts uh, shop, but this is the wire that I use. And when it's all concertina together and scrunched up, put your wire around it and into the very middle where the holes are and just turn it around like that. Can you see I've turned it around? I'm not sure if you can really see that, but I've turned it around and given a couple of twists and then I'm going to cut the end off there. Get rid of those little pieces. This is what you're left with and that's the wire in the middle. And then what you're going to do is tweak your butterfly. If you put it on the desk there. Can you see how it's starting to come together? There you go. As I said, nearly there. And that's how your butterfly is going to be. I'll finish it off and show you how to do the rest. Going to share a little tip with you girls, but I'm not sure uh, you, most people might know about it. I don't know. But this is the glue I use for my wet glue. And it's absolutely fantastic. Any hardware store, quite cheap. The top never, ever sticks. It only comes out as much as you want it to come out. And it's absolutely fabulous. And if you put a little drop here, see, every time, never sticks, always comes out. Tiny little bit onto the end there. And it's like the other glues, it all dries clear, you never see it. What I'm going to do now is, that's probably a little bit too much, but it's not the end of the world. If I get my tweezers and just take some of it off there and then I'll hold it together. There you go. What you'll actually do is just hold your tweezers for a little while just so it adheres together. doesn't take very long. It's very fast drying as well. You get a little manoeuvrability time, but you don't get very much actually. Um, the same as normal craft glues, but it's just fabulous and cheap. So there you go. 
that's nearly the finished butterfly. You're going to put his little antennas in and then you're going to put a gem in the middle. And again, I use the Evo stick glue to put the antennas in and I'll show you what I use for that. There's the little butterfly. I've actually put um, the antenna on as well. And how I did it is just a glue dot this time round. I put a glue dot on, put the antenna on, and then I put the paper back on so that it's ready for when I want to put it on a card. I'm going to actually put a little pearl in the middle. So tiny bit of my Evo glue again, which will actually go clear so there's no problem. Put the little in the middle to hide the and there you go. Let's have a look, see if you can see that very well. Not too bad. Um, one little butterfly. No, I'm not going to get a very good. It's shining off. But it is quite pretty, actually. Oh, that might be better there. Well, that's how you do your butterflies. Um, as I said, that's the large one. And this time round, as you saw me do it, it was on the hoogie board and they were the half centimetre lines. This larger one here was actually done on the Martha Stewart scoreboard and I did it every one eighth of an inch score line and that's how that one is more dimensional actually than this one. But both of those are the large templates. And as I said, this one is the hoogie board as well and that one's the half a centimetre score lines. But this this one, I think, yeah, this one, I think, on my actual card is the Martha Stewart, an eighth of an inch. And that's the smaller one. Well, there you go, girls. There's the butterfly. I was very, very excited about it. And I hope you've enjoyed it.